everyone. So I sent the link down below of a video that I just did, which is going to explain and reinforce the video that I'm showing you. So Jesse's holding a psoas stretch. Um, so the psoas, you get about a dozen different hip flexors, and there's various positions that you have to attain to be able to stretch each of those muscles. So this particular position that she's in is gonna put particular emphasis on the psoas muscle. So you wanna make sure that that knee's straight, that back foot is straight. So that back foot, if that turns out, that actually shortens and recruits your psoas. So in that position, in this position with her back foot straight, her knee fully extended, her foot about 20, 30 degrees behind her hip and her top knee um, about 20 to 30 degrees above her hip, that's gonna put a maximal stretch on your psoas muscle. So something I wanna point out really quick, and I've done article series on this too, um, is the psoas, is, it can test tight, but it's usually super weak. And if you're an athlete, you want a strong psoas because sprinting research has shown that sprinters generally carry a bigger, what we call cross-sectional area or a degree of muscle mass in their psoas muscles because it's such a strong producer of that leg swing coming forward when you sprint. So I'm um, kind of going on a tangent, getting away from the point here. So when I was talking about in the article below, if an athlete does indeed need to need more mobility or flexibility when they sprint, then they're gonna test poorly in this position. So what I mean by that is they're not gonna be able to get in these positions. But I can guarantee you every single person in this world, outside of just extreme surgical circumstances, I'd imagine, can get into this position. So the, the issue, again, it isn't the, the muscles or the, the tendons lacking length and, and soft tissue extensibility or flexibility. It's, it's the issue of the muscles to be able to produce these positions at high speeds and a lot of strength. And what's the last thing I want to say? So there's two positions. This is going to be your top speed position. So you can do this, your top speed mobility test, which again, everybody's going to pass, but I'm just trying to make a point with this. Um, so that's going to be that one. And then I'll do another video, link down below, showing the other position.